Hello and welcome, this is Melskinner, and we're back with some more of the Megacorp DLC for Stellaris. I'm playing as the multi-consumer products, a corporate entity. And let's continue here. So we're about to have our starbase finish upgrading. Upscaling complete. I'm going to immediately come in and grab a trade hub so that we can grab all these trade resources. And then we're going to have to take a look at that uh, that particular trade route to make sure it's well protected. We may have to split off some of our ships here. I'm currently just like piling up all of my fleet in one spot, but we could we could divert. Okay, let's continue. Are we doing population wise? Okay, the robot's about half done. And you're moving Potential on. Potential market survey completed. Okay. Is there any anomalies in this space? Doesn't look like it. Looks like this planet is not that great outside of the planet itself. The, the system's not that great. I don't know if I said that right. All right, we'll survey this last system, and then we might come over here. But at the moment, these guys are cutting me off because they've closed borders, so we can't move through here. So we'd have to go around them if we want to do anything over here. Uh, because we're kind of at the edge of the galaxy here, uh, there's not going to be much more expansion over this way anyway for us, so that's fine. Uh, and because of the way that the uh, hyperlanes uh, move over here, they won't be able to expand over here. They have to go through us, or they have to go up this way. So, yeah, maybe not something that they can do. Special project actualized. Okay, the text is... The text, its title roughly translates to regional ruler, is written in a presumably ancient dialect of the Vem tongue spoken in the Vem star accord. The text is doubtlessly of some historical import to them and might contain valuable insights. Okay. So we can get influence. We'll return it to them. Well, we don't like them, so screw them. Their prose is pedestrian. Their idea is weak. Hail them. No, we'll just keep it for the influence. I like influence. That's nice. Oh. Though it rightfully belongs to us, the Vem Star Accord has audaciously laid claim to the Zafa system. Okie dokie. So we are definitely escalating here with them. And that makes me want to uh, upgrade that um, outpost to a star base so that it can be more defended. Um, so I am going to do that. And another thing I'd like to take a look at. The price here hasn't come back down, so we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. But I am eventually going to want to... Let's sell a thousand minerals. We don't need really this as many as we have lying around. We'll get some sweet cash from that. All right. They're making this interesting. Oh, you know what I just realized? Special project actualized. Because they have this system, I can't get my science vessel back. Oh, God's shrine to the Benefactress. Deciphering the pictograms in the Benefactress's shrine was a much smoother process than anticipated. All linguists involved described the language quickly, connecting or clicking in their minds, despite its age and complexity. However, the writings are unlikely to make much sense until they are combined with the other writs associated with the rest of the quadrumvirate godhead. All right. Well, we'll continue along that line. We've got two more places to go. Uh, so grab you. Uh, I think you're done, right? Yeah, you're done. Survey this system. We'll check that out. Yeah, so once I've done surveying here and here, I, I don't think I can get the science ship back until we start fighting these guys. Um, it wouldn't be too much of a problem to come in here. I'll just send a ship, smash the, uh, well, sh a ship, mini ships. Come in here, smash the outpost. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, we'll just keep that up so we remember that they're probably going to attack us at some point. Um, yeah. Well, hopefully we can do stuff about that. Uh, how was their fleet looking? Still equivalent to us. All right. Keep an eye on it. But we may have war soon. Uh, and alloys are the things that are really holding us back. From doing much about it. Situation log revised. Okay, uh, broaching the undaunted. The MCP MCPS such and such has entered the uh, system and its crew report that a stellar object not unlike the shrine to the untold is indeed orbiting the star. Let's take a look at this. Is it going to look the same as the other one? Or is it? Yeah, so... Uh, this is probably not a exact representation of what the thing looks like. You know, you're right next to it. Just go research it. And then you can survey the system. Okay. And you're not at level three, so we could probably go back and get this. Oh, no, it's level six. I thought it said level four. My bad. Okay. How are you doing? Oh, halfway, all right. You're working on uh, anomalies, okay. The probability conundrum. We've gotten a report from science officer Degora. It seems that a ceramic container is circling the star. Most peculiar. It should obviously not be there, yet somehow it has managed to find its way into a close orbit. A special project can be issued to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up there. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do the uh, special Situation project. Situation log revised. Uh, because you... Uh, hmm. Alright, let's, let's do this one first. Then we'll have you do this one. Good. Two research projects needing doing. All right, uh, yeah, let's continue. Now, Gargantua Station is going to give us all these trade resources, and that's all we really need to do with that at the moment. Upscaling complete. Yeah, and that has been done. Now let's take a look at our trade. So it doesn't look like we have any piracy, but I'll keep an eye on that. Market outlier identified. All right, let's leave that be for now. Upscaling complete. You were working on a city district, if I remember correctly. Okay. Point two. I, I want to see how... 1.1. We have 2.4 going out, but we should have still an excess because we have extra growth. So, uh, looking good. The robots will help here, though, because the robots will grow faster than our actual population will at this stage, so it will help fill out this planet. Okay. Special project actualized. Okay, after days of activities that can best be uh, termed fiddling, science officer so-and-so has retrieved the Doctrine of the Undaunted, a textile scroll coated with a sturdy plastic polymer. Fascinating. Now, once our construction ship is done here, I'm not going to have really anything for it to do. So I may just send it back to the capital. We could have it build a... Uh, we even have... Upscaling complete. We do have defense platforms. It's probably about high time that I looked at one of these. So what does this do again? It gives us power generation at uh, extra cost. And that does up damage. Uh, 
The light station, medium slot. I kind of like a mixture, so we'll do light station and missile station, perhaps. Although we didn't pick up the missile tech. We could do heavy station, give us that range. I think a, a, a medium station makes a lot of sense to a certain extent, though. We'll go two medium stations. And then we'll go uh, laser, laser, mass driver, mass driver. Reactor, reactor. And then we'll go... Deflector, deflector, armor, 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 armor. Yeah, that looks, that looks good. And I actually don't have a, a name for this one because I didn't think about what I would name stations. Uh, but we'll call it, hopefully I'm spelling this right. Equity? If I spelled that wrong, I apologize. I'll fix it later. <laughs> this is just off the top of my head. And spelling sometimes uh, I struggle with, but we'll call it that. Okay. Uh... And then we need to have this go over to Zafa Station, because that's, or Zafa, because that's where we're going to have the fight. And it's a nice choke point anyway, so would be a good idea to get it over there. Hopefully I did save that. Let me uh, take a look at that. Yeah. And I'm going to trash this one. Alright. Outlier identified. Leave that be for now. Zappa Station is still working. I, I want to wait for that. Because we're going to fill it up with weapons and things. Research actualized. Okay, research. Blue lasers! All right, let's uh, get the, the research here. Okay, so research station output would be good. We get better energy credits, which also could be good. I think out of all this, though, research station output, I think, is, uh, is probably the best move here. So we'll go with that. It's also cheaper than the other ones, so it'll happen faster, hopefully. All right. Unfortunately, this station is kind of holding me back on what I'm going to do. Uh, unless, of course, I have market. Has this dropped back down in price? It has. Um, so we're going to grab as much as we can afford. It's only getting us 250 Wow, that's... Uh, I mean, it's expensive. But it's valuable. Okay, we'll grab it. And then... We could turn it around into... Some military ships at the moment. But we just grabbed... Uh, better tech. So we're going to want to go in for our ship designer. Go to... I mean, this I will redesign because eventually I'm going to want to build this. But let's go into our Corvette here, the Toll. And let's see. So we've got 7.76 as a picket ship. Uh, let us immediately turn these into blue lasers. We get nine. Okay, so that's one choice. The other choice... We do an interceptor. We do all blue lasers for 
The picket ship is going to be good because of... Oh, I also haven't filled out some things that will matter. Okay, so we're at 8.84 versus, what was it, 9-something? I think we had flak battery, if I remember correctly. Laser. Yeah. Then we have reactor. Have shield. Now, the flak battery would be really important if they have missiles. This is a point defense weapon. If they don't have missiles, this is kind of a waste of a slot. And I think we'd be better off with the small laser. This is more damage, sure, but it's... it's uh, what's the range on it? Uh, I think I, what I have to do is I have to click the slot. It should say the range somewhere, right? Or am I just missing it? Let's compare here. Yeah, range 40. Range 30. Oh, it's not that big of a difference. Okay, so I think the picket ship is the right way to go then. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that, we've got those. Blue laser, uh, it does the most damage. Sure, we'll save that. Uh, yes. And then we're going to take the anchor. We're going to tell them to go upgrade fleet. Now, that, that does mean that we're not going to be sitting on our uh, trade for a little while. So we'll go and do that. Okay. Upscaling complete. Okay. So Zafa station is done. Let's immediately start getting these things. So we want a, a missile battery and a gun battery. Uh, we'll do the uh, gun battery first. I'll just go ahead and queue these things up. And then I want the target uplink computer, I think. Is that the one that increased our range? Yeah, ship's weapons range by 50%. That's what I want. So we'll go with that. Okay. So those are all queued has up. Been surveyed. Uh, leave me for now. Science ship not doing anything. Which one is that? Which science ship isn't doing anything? You. All right. Okay. Science ship. Uh, let's go through the anomalies. How hard is this for you? It's challenging. Okay. Uh, it's not likely you're going to get a level up. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to do them. Um, for right now, let's just do this one. And we'll think about it. I mean, it's going to be trapped in here anyway. So maybe we do the research project or the anomaly research. Then we go over here, we survey the system. And then we're trapped in here because we can't leave. Uh, then we'll come back. You know, it's fine. Okay, let's continue. How are we doing on our planets? 35 population. I really want to make sure... So we are going to have at least one pop. So if it goes to 10 when we get that robot population, then I will worry about it. Um, what about Hicklem over here? We got three population, which is good. Oh, what happened here? Ah, one of our governors. Oh, our governor probably got. Ah, all right. Um, so what we'll do, hire a new leader. Uh, we need a new governor. Uh, building costs, that could be good. Peter experience gain. Let's do that one. Get them level up fast. And we're over to Hicklum. And put them there. Alright. Some governor is better than no governor. At least in my mind. Trouble in Paradise. Local political drama on Regulus Prime has resulted in increased support among a small group of rebels opposed to our underlying ethics. Their increased support have enabled them to obtain more power in the region and vote for their own causes with limited success. Okay, so... Verts one step closer to pacifism. Or, we suppress them. One pop on the Regulus converts one step closer to pacifism. Add suppressed uh, opposition modifier to Regulus Prime with effects... 
minus 15% happiness. Well, we don't really want our population to get pacifistic on us. As a megacorp, maybe it, uh, it doesn't really matter so much as a corporation, but we want to sell arms. So militaristic uh, is, is good for us. So our propaganda is going to want to make sure that we stay firm on this. We're authoritarian after all, so suppress them. All right, well, I think this is going to be a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.